Hi everyone, welcome to another question and answer session. This is the physiology portion. Who is one of the following associated with increased lung compliance? So we have to find out the relationship of the lung compliance with following conditions. Here are the options. Options are kyphosis, pulmonary edema, emphysema, pulmonary fibrosis, pneumonectomy. So for answering this question, first of all, we have to know about the compliance. So what is the compliance? This option first of all, we have to realize. So what is the lung compliance? Lung compliance is the ability of the lungs to expand. That means the lungs which is the lungs which is more capacity which has more capacity which is more large that's this lung is the more compliant that means the lung which is more big this is more compliant this is the very in short about the lung compliance so which of the following sub state or following physiological or pathological condition causes increase the lung compliance here the options kyphosis pulmonary edema emphysema pulmonary fibrosis and pneumonectomy so we have to find out one of the conditions so first of all here we can see the pneumonectomy in case of pneumonectomy that means the lung lobe is removed so when lung lobe is removed then volume of the lung should decrease so in this condition volume of the lung should decrease in case of pulmonary fibrosis that means it is covered by the fibrous tissue and fibrous tissue it causes contraction so the lung volume also reduce and in case of kyphosis in this condition also the lung volume reduce so let's see about the lung compliance so here you can see this is the definition of the lung compliance and what is the lung compliance it is the changes in the lung it is the changes in the lung volume per unit changes of the airway pressure that means the big lung big compliance a small lung a small compliance it is very very obvious then here we can see the causes of increased compliance so what are the condition causes compliance increased compliance of the lungs so first of all see the age so age increases the fibrous tissue of the lungs reduce and their lung compliance increase and emphysema here this is loss of the alveolar wall and associated elastic tissue so elastic tissue loss alveolar wall loss and big lung so more lung compliance and in case of where there is the decreased compliance of the lungs here some important option here we can see the pulmonary edema in case of pulmonary edema there is the water of the lung that means the water sinking in the lung or there is lot of water in the lung and in this condition there is less possibility to enter of the ear and pulmonary fibrosis it also reduce compliance because in case of fibrosis lung become a smaller pneumonectomy and kyphosis they are responsible for reduce compliance so it is i think it is very very clear that the big lung the big compliance a small lung reduce compliance and here we can see the normal contraction and relaxation of the diaphragm and the lungs so in the first second and third picture here we can see the different phases of the respiration so first of all is resting position then here we can see this is the normal inspiration and this is the expiration so our answer is the ready it is the emphysema because in case of the emphysema in case of the emphysema there is loss of the elastic tissue and loss of the alveoli alveolar wall so more lung volume and more compliance and other options such as the kyphosis in case of kyphosis the compliance decreases pulmonary edema compliance decreases pulmonary fibrosis so compliance decreases pneumonectomy compliance decreases thank you all